Hello everyone and welcome back to number one PCO training. All right, so in today's video, we're gonna be doing a tunnel route, okay? So I'm gonna show you guys how to figure out what tunnel question you're actually doing. Because in the exam, they do not let you know this uh, and say this is a Rotherhack tunnel question, this is a Limehouse tunnel question, this is a Blackwall tunnel question. The only way you can find out is if you draw the line like I always do, yeah, to find which tunnel is the most direct, yeah. So I'm gonna draw a line from green to red, and this line is gonna help me find the best tunnel to use. So right now, I can see I'm going to be using the Blackwall tunnel for sure, yeah. There's the river, we're gonna be using the Blackwall tunnel, no doubt, yeah. The other tunnel that crosses the river is Rotherhite Tunnel, which is somewhere here. So we would not be using that tunnel. You can, however, you'll be going uh, the much longer route, yeah? That, that route is a lot longer. So we're gonna stick to the Blackwall Tunnel, yeah? So now that we've identified which tunnel we're gonna be using, I just need to find now my middle point. So let me draw the line again. And my middle point would be somewhere here. So let me just circle it. So somewhere here, yeah? So I'm gonna, cir I've circled it. So if you look closely here, what does that say? Blackwall tunnel approach, okay? So that is the tunnel approach, okay? So we need to get there, yeah? So I'm gonna focus on getting there from green. Yeah, so from green marker, I just need to get to the tunnel approach, which is around here, okay? Okay, now that I've got a plan, I can get started, okay? So let's get started. Here's the green. Okay, first step, I want to get to somewhere here, yeah? So here. So the tunnel, the northern approach, yeah? So I need to get there somehow, yeah? So let me just start the route. Let me click the bottom of the green here. Stay on my left. Remember you can use these letters as a guide. You see what I've done? I'm staying underneath those letters. So the letter E, the letter E here, the letter J, I'm just staying under it, yeah? Look, the letter R, yeah? Just staying on top of that. And then I'll take a left here, yeah? Now I'll explain this part here because there's a lot of confusion, yeah? Now, this is the bow interchange junction, okay? This is a three level junction, okay? So there's three things happening here, okay? Now, first thing, this road here goes straight across, okay? This is the flyover. If I wanted to go straight across, I would use the flyover, okay? So that is on top of everything, right? All right, so let me just undo that. Now, this here, if you look closely, is the underpass look so traffic coming from here sorry about that so traffic coming from here goes straight under yeah this roundabout there's a roundabout there also but this traffic is going straight under okay now how do we know that's under because if you look closely there's little broken lines here see these little broken lines yeah so this the, the, that traffic there is going directly under the roundabout okay so that's two things yeah so there's a flyover and there's an underpass now we want to stay on the ground level so we're here let me just carry on drawing these broken lines here do not affect me because like i, I just explained that is the underpass these broken lines don't affect me i am on ground level yeah remember i said this is a, a three level uh, junction, yeah? So there's an underpass, there's a ground level, and there's a flyover. So right now I'm on the uh, ground level. So I'm gonna keep going using this roundabout. Now, what I do not want to do, what I do not want to do is come here and take a left here. This is impossible. Why? Because I am currently on ground level ground level yeah so i cannot just take a left here because that would mean i've gone from ground straight to underground 
yeah straight to the underpass which is impossible yeah so i need to use the slip road and join these guys here who were in the underpass yeah so i have to use so i must use that slip road okay i hope that makes sense guys okay so this is a three level junction there's a roundabout which i'm using which is ground level there is an underpass which is this traffic coming from here going straight under yeah and there's the overpass the flyover sorry that goes straight across here okay so that's the flyover so what i've done is i've stayed on the ground level and all i've done is i've joined the tunnel northern approach okay so by using the slip road okay if you did something like this in your exam and you turned here this is a straight fail okay because your car like i said is on ground level you are not on the underpass yeah so you must use the slip road okay now that we've used the slip road and yeah do not confuse this junction please to the junction under here okay this is totally different i'm going to explain this in another video i do have a video up explaining this also but you cannot use this junction is not the same as this junction okay if you were using this junction for example and you were coming from here you would use this left turn here and come straight under okay People confuse the two okay they are totally different okay the one we are currently using like i said is a roundabout okay do not please do not confuse the two so many people do this all right so let me continue stay on my left yep i'll stay here this is a subway here so these little broken lines do not matter yeah they do not affect us I'm going to keep going. Okay, the northern approach. I'm on the A12. Now that I've stayed on my side of the, uh, the A12, um, I see here the India Dock Road, okay? So again, look, there is a road here. There's a road here. There's a road here. And our road is there, right? Now our road doesn't just disappear. Our road still exists, okay? So this is where you guys need to use your imagination, okay? Our road doesn't just end, it still exists. So we're just going straight under the India dock. We don't have to do anything at all. We're just staying in our lane and we are going under the India dock road. You can clearly see there's two roads there. One road is the India dock, and the other road is the A12, which we're on, yeah? That becomes the Blackwall Tunnel, yeah? So the A12 becomes the Blackwall Tunnel. Let me just undo this. And then we can just keep going straight under the A12. And now you can clearly see we're at the middle point. Remember what we said, we need to get to the Blackwall Tunnel approach. There's our tunnel approach, okay? The Blackwall Tunnel approach. Now, how do we know we're going in the right direction when we're using Blackwall Tunnel, okay? So if we look closely, our left-hand side, so this is the Blackwall Tunnel from Northern Approach, which we came from going south, okay? We're going down to south, yeah? So how do we know we're going in the right direction? If you look closely, our left-hand side is solid. Look, if you look, our left-hand side is solid, okay? So we are definitely going on in the right lane when we're going in the tunnel, okay? We're in the right lane. Like, if I did this, for example, look, if I did this, I would be going in the wrong direction. Now, why is that? Because if you look closely, my left-hand side is actually thin. It's thin. That line is thin. This means I'm going in the wrong direction, no doubt. Yeah, that's a straight fail also, yeah? So that traffic is for anyone going up. So anyone going up, this is their side, yeah? This is their, because look, their left-hand side is what? What's on their left-hand side? Their left-hand side 
the solid. Remember, I've explained it in my other videos. This is how you know what a one-way road is. One side is bigger than the other. How do we know the one-way road is ours? The left-hand side must be the solid side, okay? So we are definitely going in the right direction because at all times, if you look at the map, our left-hand side is solid, yeah? So there's no confusion at all, okay? So let me just undo that and then I'll continue. I'm officially in the tunnel now. Why? We've seen the broken lines have started to appear, okay? So they were solid at first, solid on our left, solid. And now you can see these little broken, staggered lines, okay? There we go. We keep going. And now I'm going to stop somewhere here when the broken lines end. And I'm going to look for my end point, okay? Remember, do your two-step plan whether it's a two-step plan, a three-step plan, whatever is easy for you, okay? Everybody plans this differently. Now that I'm here, there's my end point, okay? So from there to there, I need to do. Now, what I'm going to do is I'll keep going, and then I'll just show you guys the exit I'm going to take. So here, I'm officially out now. Do not worry about this white... Um, this is a bridge, the pedestrian bridge. They do, they, do, they do not affect us at all, okay? They're, they're all over the map. Now that we're here, what I don't want to do is keep going straight ahead because if I did, I wouldn't be able to take a right here. Now, why is that? Again, there's a road on top of a road, okay? We are actually on the flyover, okay? So this is a flyover that goes straight across, okay? So if we did this, there's no coming back. We would obviously have to use this roundabout maybe and then come back, yeah? But obviously that's the longer way. It's possible to do that. You will lose some marks, yeah? You will lose some marks. You won't fail or anything, but the most direct would be if I use this little exit here. It's a one-way road for me. You can see my left-hand side is solid. And then I'll come around the roundabout. Remember, when you're doing your roundabouts, make sure you're drawing the shape, okay? If you want to get the full marks, make sure it's round, okay? Nice and round. All right, now that I'm here, again, there's a road on top of a road. We're going to use our imagination again. So I'm going straight under, straight under the Blackwall Tunnel Southern approach, yeah? That, that, that fly over there, I'm going straight under it, right? Now... You can see here, this is a mistake some people make, right? So they go in here. Now, wh why is this a mistake? Because I'm going to circle it. Look at this little line here. So many people make this error. That is a dead end road. It's blocked off, okay? It's blocked off. That's a blocked road. There's no way in there, okay? And if you look closely, the next one is also blocked off. So look here. Yeah? So I'm going to keep going. I can keep going or there's uh, many ways to do this one. You can actually use uh, the Telcon way or you can keep going if you want. So you can keep going. You can use this one. You can also use this one. Yeah, there's many ways to finish it off as long as as long as you're not uh going into those blocked roads okay so let me just undo that and draw this line i'll just use this way they're both fine okay as long as as long as you do not use these two one and two you're fine okay all right so that is the black wall tunnel route and remember the three key things number one this is the bow interchange, yeah? It's a three level junction. Like I said, we are on the ground level, yeah? We are on the ground level. I cannot come around and just come down like this at the roundabout, yeah? That's number one. Number two, when I'm here, I'm going straight down. I do not need to come out like some people do. Impossible, you cannot do something like that. Just stay in your lane and go straight under, okay? And the third thing, third most important thing here is use the exit. Once you use the exit, roundabout, 
use your imagination here go under the flyover and then come around you can use telecom way you can use this way there's another one-way road here you can use yeah there's many ways to end it but yeah thank you guys for watching i hope this was helpful don't forget to like and subscribe and check out our website i'm gonna leave the link in the at uh, the start of the video anyway you'll see it thank you again